had to facilitate Jay-Z, uh, the Young Guns, yeah. um, Memphis Bleak, Beanie Siegel, Cameron, and yeah. when you say Cameron, that's like the whole dip set is like over here, right? <laughs> like, there's a lot of people. Right. Uh, <laughs> but anybody, and they record like every day. Um, and that, that's, it was just me trying to maximize the amount of stuff. So as yeah. one guy had like the CD player, you know, playing a beat and he's writing a rhyme and other guys recording, you know, another guy's in another room listening to a beat that another producer's making, mm -hmm. but it became our Motown, it became our stacks, right. it became that. It's like we study history and the best music, in my opinion, is made by small groups of people you know, in these small areas, if you, if you, I say that all the time to people that look at these big conglomerates and they're like, oh, you need this label. No, like if you go to Detroit and look at the Motown house, yeah. it's little, it's super little. Right. But you think about the immense amount of music that came out of that house. Or if you go to Stacks and look at Stacks and it's like, okay, all of this history is really done by 15, 20 people. That's including the secretaries. <laughs> right. You, you right. know what I mean? Like 15, 20 people made this incredible amount of music. That's what we were trying to do. Or, or in the hip hop world, it had only really been done at D&D Studios before this, where there was a studio that was so associated. Yeah. You know, and that was because of DJ Premier. So right. you had, you know, Jay-Z's first album coming out of there. You had Nas's first album coming right. out of there. You know, all the gangstar stuff. Um, but that's what we were trying to do, just make this environment where just great music was coming out.